so today I'm starting part two of my organization video so I don't know where to start I have a bunch of new stuff so this is just like new foil and like journaling things um, that I need to find homes for and then I also have a stack of like new kits that I need to put away um it's a it's a pig stack but this has been accumulated over like <laughs> the year I feel like uh yeah so I have a stack of kits and a stack of foil and journaling stuff and we're just gonna we're just gonna vibe I don't know if I'm gonna put music in or what but We'll see. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> I think I'm going to start with seeing where things can go because I'm running out of space in my folders. I do have another binder, but it's supposed to have journaling elements in it. And since I'm buying more like florals so like in this deck I have this deck of like oh okay this deck of like Sadie stickers florals that I need to find a home for and they should be going in that journaling folder that's pretty much empty right now but then I also have like I said a stack of new foil um that I need to put away and then I did also grab these Rante binder dividers that I want to put in. I have two stacks of those. So this is the binder I'm talking about. It's literally, there was, there was a little fish stuck to the back of that one. He's cute. That's from the Sadie Stickers um, April Mystery last year, I think. So this is the binder I'm talking about. It's literally empty. It's got like some foil stuff, not foil, some like journaling and whatever. But she's pretty empty. So we'll see. And then I also have, this binder has like freebies and functional things. So like dividers and stuff like that in it. But it's pretty full. So... I don't know what to do I also have a folder with like scripts date dots and like foiled icons in it that's extremely full that I need to figure out literally all of my binders are full so I have no clue where any of this is gonna go because my plan was I was gonna take the journaling stuff out of this binder but and I still might and then I'll just put it in one of my cubbies for now like all my little journaling things because I also need to organize my cubbies I have another one that has kits in it that like just um like they're older kits or whatever this cubby has like some of the weeks planned out so this is from like February to April that I have planned out right now. Um, so some, these are the weeks that I still need to plan. And then in the back, that shouldn't be in there. But in the back is where I had like all of my new stuff. Ooh, and I'm still missing things. So in the back, I had like all of my new foil and new kits and stuff like that. So I might just leave the kids in here for now because I don't have anywhere for my kids to go either oh no okay so for now I'm just gonna stick this stack of new sticker kits in the back and um let's see and I also am gonna put Hold on, I forgot one. The amount of pages 
and this one kit is absolutely ridiculous this is my academia kit from paper trail plans like come on that is craziness but i love it <laughs> okay so i think i'm gonna put my uh, i don't know what to do I don't know what to do because I have all these journaling kits. All right, so right now I am just working on organizing all my freebies. I decided that I wanted all of my PR freebies <laughs> in the front. So um, that's what I did. And right here, um, I'm pulling out all the freebies that I probably won't use or ones that I have like a ton of and I'm putting those into that like freebie the stash stack or whatever um so what I decided to do was any like brand new freebies whenever I did these stashes I'll just add those in um as you know just little gifts um and then the ones that I've used stuff on they'll just go into that like foil d stash that i'm gonna do i probably won't do it until the end of the year i want to do like one big one like every six months so twice a year um since i just did one not too long ago and mm, i think i did it in july so the next one will probably be in like january or something like that but um, anyway, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just organizing my freebies. Started out removing, and then I decided I was going to organize them by shop. They're already kind of organized by shop, but um, I just kind of move stuff around a little bit. And like some of these are really cute, but I just know I won't use them. And these are super functional. Those would be great to give away. But yeah really i just need to get rid of a lot of these so what better way than to give them to you guys or what better use i should say i don't know if i'm gonna use that or not um i just don't really use garlands but if i did use garlands i feel like these will be the ones that i would use so I want to keep those. I guess this is also another way for me to do some de-stashing just in general because I have a million things and I just need to get rid of stuff. These will be fun for Christmas time so we'll keep that. I do use like a lot of dangles and stuff around Christmas time. I just know I'm not going to use these anymore. I used to use them a lot, but I feel like it's just not my style anymore. So I'm actually going to pull all of these. And if you see stuff that I'm pulling, I might keep those for Valentine's just because they're little hearts on them. But if you see stuff that I'm pulling and you're interested in it, let me know. I might just do a foil D stash here soon and, you know, we'll see. But I don't know when this video is going to go out because I've got a lot of stuff that I need to get through. And I don't want to do like a bunch, a bunch of parts because... That is just no fun. I do, however, I do have the first part of this already filmed and uploaded to YouTube. It's not like, it's not live, so you guys can't watch it yet, but I do have it uh, already to go when I finish this. That's kind of what I was waiting on because I didn't want them to come out like too far apart. I think was the main thing I just 
No, I'm not gonna use these. These are really bold. And a lot of this stuff too is stuff that I got like, I love my Sadie sticker stuff. A lot of that I got like in um, her D stashes. <laughs> so. I do really love those. I really don't know what the difference between these two are. This one says floral one combo garland and this one says floral two combo garland, but they look the same. Literally, they look the same. I don't know. Should I do stash one? I feel like this one is a little bolder, like slightly, I don't know, but they look really similar. I'll keep them both just, just for gigs. Ooh, excuse me, sorry. Oh, oh. We don't cuss on this channel, or at least I try not to. These are all on shiny paper. I used to be super obsessed with these, um, but they gotta go. I have not even thought to touch those in forever. It's something about the single like solid line that I just don't vibe with. I don't know because I haven't bought or touched them in forever. I was also really obsessed with these little scallop dividers from, I think these were from Jackson Pepper. I don't know, but they're super old. And then these, I bought a bunch of these because I thought that they were um, smaller. I really want this, but like on a smaller scale, but these are kind of big. So I think I'm going to go ahead and de-stash these. I'm, I've tried to use them. Oh, I feel like if I get rid of them, then I'm going to want them. But I don't know, you guys. I'm gonna desash these as well. I'm gonna keep all of those. Okay, and then the bag has like functional stuff. Boxes. Okay, that's better, but Okay, so I guess right now we'll do the de-stash de part, and then we'll get into everything else. I don't think I'm getting rid of anything in here, just because these are like my icons, and yeah, these are just, these are my icons, and like date numbers and stuff. I do have more stuff to add to this. Oh, well, I guess maybe I do have stuff to get rid of. I have a bunch of these. These are all on shiny paper. All right, so now I'm just getting back into removing stuff. Like I said, a lot of this is just me like removing stuff, putting stuff back in and all that. However, I do have to do this again. <laughs> I feel like the organization is never ending honestly like I did it and everything is still pretty much organized the way that I had it before yeah everything else in here I think I'm gonna keep yeah okay we're making some progress this is what we got to de-stash so far. A lot of these are freebies though, that are in the, I think. Oh no, they're not. These are all the de-stash things. And then these are all the freebies that I'll be adding to like these stashes and stuff. So fun. Okay. Okay, let's jump into this one. So, I don't too much use clusters, but I'm going to keep those. Can y'all see both sides? I don't even know if I've been in frame this whole time, so <laughs> I 
That's fun. I don't think that I have. Sorry. Um, let's see. And also, I'm sorry about the glare. I probably won't even buy Halloween stuff this year just because I have a bunch. I think it's time. I did really like these, but they're a little bit bigger than these ones. These are the ones I used to use more often. No, I'm gonna keep them. I do really like these. I know they got rid of them. They don't even have these anymore, Paper Chuck Lands, because I don't think they were popular, but I like them. I just haven't, I don't know. I haven't been like as detailed with like my florals like I used to be. Let's see. I got a ton of birds. I feel like, I think most of the stuff in here I'm going to keep. I'm not going to use those. I really like the small ones. And I prefer the smaller ones of these as well. So yeah, like I was saying, everything is pretty much the same as far as like what is in what binder. Um, but I have an empty one now and I have like all of those binders are full, y'all. Like I could not put nothing else in there if I wanted to. So... I don't know what I'm gonna do because I really do love the way that everything is organized right now. So I think what I'll end up doing is just completely starting new um, binders. So like how I have all of my decorative like little things. So like um, the little snails and butterflies and all those kind of things. I might just use that binder for those things. Like. I don't know instead of trying to take certain things out like how I have I really like how I have my dividers and like my garlands and like my little functional things together and then as far as I have um like foiled icons date dots and scripts and month and dates in one and I really like that however <laughs> Um, I feel like everyone's releasing so many good like scripts and um, the Pretty Pink Co. is now doing foiled icons. That binder is going to have to get redone as well. So I don't know. But right now what I'm doing is organizing all of my like functional paper trail plans stuff and you guys. Like I knew I had a lot of their functional items, but I didn't realize how much. I have like all of them <laughs> for um, the signature colorway that they have. So there's 11 colors. And then I wanna say there's seven or so different options because they have the color washes and the gangum. And like, it's, I love it. Like truly I do. <laughs> like looking at all of those things makes me so happy <laughs> um and i'm really excited for like all the new colors and everything that they have coming out i'm probably gonna end up with a binder with just the paper show plans like colorways of all of their functional stuff because i truly love pulling them into all of my spreads like i just loaded up my cart once again with more functional stuff from paper show plans I need to get it together I just love them so much but yeah so this binder that I'm working on now I took all of the kits out of it and I put them in my cubby which I have two and they are full plus I have like some old um what are they called I can't remember oh simply gilded the simply gilded um kit holders I have those and then um yeah so I need to 
that's another thing that I'm gonna have to tackle here soon are my kits and I still am not sure how I want to do that but yeah so that'll be the next organization video that you guys see it's I haven't even started it so I have no clue when that's gonna happen but that's something else that I need to get done as well but I really do love the way that this binder came out like I said it has all of my functional stuff in it I've also been buying like extra floral pages to add to like my older kits and um yeah and there's like journaling collections and all kind of stuff just to add to like kits in general so I really love it um I also let's see I th yeah that's it for this binder but I really do love the way that it came out so the only binder that's not full is my washi binder. Um, like I have a, a ton of foiled washi, but it's not like full full because you know, like they're small so you can put a bunch in there. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to split up my like little this binder right here that has like the birds and the fish and all the things. <laughs> that binder is going to have to get split and this one as well with the date numbers and stuff i think i'm going to end up putting my scripts and like my foiled icons in a binder by themselves um well together like outside of this binder and keep like my date dots and my month scripts and stuff like that together but I feel like all of those things, I don't know, like I kind of organized it in a way that made sense for the way that I plan. So when I'm looking for certain things, I don't have to go into a bunch of different binders. So when I'm planning, it's easy for me to go and get like, um, like scripts and icons at the same time and for date dots and month scripts and things like that. Like those are the things that I grab at once if that makes sense so I don't know like splitting it up makes me cringe a little bit <laughs> um but yeah that's that's how we got it give me some tips down in the comments if you have any or any ideas for the way that you know that maybe it'll be a little bit easier to find things I don't know but like I said for all of my binders now I have no room <laughs> to add any more stickers in so yeah I don't know <laughs> um I think I'll probably if I start splitting things up I'll probably need like three more binders for the way that I want to split things up that would make sense to me so yeah you guys it's at uh, this I knew it was gonna be like daunting to do all of this but it was kind of fun once I got started because truly I love getting rid of stuff like I have my things that I like to hold on to but I really do love like getting rid of things that I don't use <laughs> and my mom hates it because she likes to keep things like she has pictures that I drew in kindergarten and I'd be like girl if you don't throw that away <laughs> like uh-uh and like uh but yeah I've always been like that I love getting rid of stuff so it's fun to me to go through my things and take stuff out that I know I'm not gonna use however comma I love to hoard stickers <laughs> and like little pretty things like that but I don't know I'm just at a point where I'm ready to like get rid of things and I don't know that that's just where I'm at but I hope you guys enjoyed please give me some tips in the comments of how you think this is gonna function how you um, like organize your stuff let me know and also give me some tips on how you organize your kits personally I don't like the Ray and Tay kit sleeves just because I feel like my kits move around a lot um but i do really like the cubbies and i want to make that work for my kids but i think i'm gonna have to get another one so yeah i don't know let me know what you think down below oh also before i leave you guys 
um my planner bestie tish hey girl she asked me about my felicia tattoo i asked you guys to ask me questions on instagram but she was the only one who asked me a question so dang y'all don't love me but it's fine um <laughs> she asked me um she said since we always see your hands can you tell us about the felicia tattoo so felicia is my mom um i got uh these tattoos when i turned 18 i was very fresh 18 and i wanted to get aiden's name tattooed on me and my grandmother because she had just passed away and i knew that and i wanted them on the inside of my wrist so if you ever see the inside of my wrist you'll see bonnie which is my grandmother and then aiden my son um, on the inside of my wrist <laughs> and i knew that when i got my grandma's name tattooed on me my mom was gonna be she was gonna feel left out <laughs> so i already had the rose tattoo so i went ahead and got her name on the outside of my wrist so it wasn't too far away from everything <laughs> so yeah that's that's the story of the felicia tattoo <laughs> but yeah thank you for the question and then she also asked if I was going to any like planner events and I told my husband that I'm going to Galentine's this year in 2025 February 2025 I'm gonna be up in there okay I was not gonna miss it for a third year in a row so I'm gonna have my ninja fingers ready I got an alarm set y'all better not sell the tickets out <laughs> before I can get one um but yeah i really hope i can go i really want to meet everyone and yeah i was on um danny and cassie's uh live today and it's actually sunday um the 18th so you guys are gonna see this tomorrow but i was on danny and cassie's live and they were talking about galentine's and how they wanted to do like a little pajama party situation where we just all like hang out and plan in our pajamas either the friday night before galentine's or the night the saturday night after galentine's so yeah i, I want to go so bad i'm gonna have such bad fomo like <laughs> but anyway yeah those were all the questions and i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys have a great monday and you know a great rest of your week and i will talk to you next week bye